Hi everyone, another really nice question here. We want to find the length of x. We have a quarter circle and from the one corner of the quarter circle we have a line of 24 units and another line of 7 units that meets at a 90 degree angle. First thing we can do is we can construct a right angle triangle and we can use Pythagoras to solve for the hypotenuse. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared where a is 24, b is 7. So that gives us 576 plus 49, which is 625. Take the square root. C is 25. There's a nice little trick here that if we actually consider this to be a half circle, we can label the radii. What you may have noticed is that because we have a right angle on the circumference, we actually have a right angle triangle inside a semicircle. We can extend the side length of 7 right down to the bottom right corner of the semicircle. All right, let's look at these two triangles just for a moment. So they are both right triangles. And if we just highlight them, we will see that the green triangle and the orange triangle share a side. They share an angle and they share another side. And because the angle is between the two sides, these triangles are congruent. Because the triangles are congruent, that means that the hypotenuse of both are the same length, which means that the hypotenuse of the orange triangle is also 25. Now that because this is a length of 25, we've actually got a side length of 32, so we have another right triangle. We can use Pythagoras' theorem again, where a squared plus b squared is c squared, a is 24, b is 32, and c is twice the radius. So 576 plus 1024 is 1600. Take the square root. So twice the radius is 40, which means that the radius must be 20. Okay, now we can look at the small triangle again. And once again, another right triangle. So we can solve for x by using Pythagoras again. So that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And because we're looking for a squared, that is c squared minus b squared. So it's 25 squared minus 20 squared, which is 225. Take the square root. So x is 15. And there you go. Really nice question.